I'm dripping junket. How you all doing, Ralphie? Here, Ralphie's reviews. Team No Steep. Um, we're looking at a Delta Two today. I reviewed it forever ago uh, when I first got it a few months back now. Still love it. Still a great device. Joytech got it bang on. I don't know if they've got a Delta Three in the planning. I'm not privy to such insider information. If you are, let me know because I'd definitely be interested in one. Anyway, I'm doing the third in my series of how to rebuild. Your standard replacement coil unit. Ironically, this is the first one that I ever rebuilt. I've just taken that long to get around to doing the other two. Um, if you check down in my channel, you'll see the Kangatek sub tank one and the Arctic one. So here's the jobby. We're going to rebuild him again. As I've said in all the other videos. Maybe you've run out, maybe you thought you had one and you've not, maybe you just want to play, maybe you want to save a few quid, maybe you want to tweak uh, the resistance on it and get it just spot on for your sweet spot. Whatever, it's, it's a fun little project and something that I hope you try. Let me know how you get on, comment, message, just give me some feedback, yeah? We'll get down, I'll show you how to get one apart and it's a right ball ache, but it's, it's well worth it, it's just an extra bit of fun. Um, show you what's inside and then we'll put it back together my way. See you in a minute. Okay, okay, here he is. It's a standard article. Uh, this one's a, the 0.5 ohms resistance unit. It doesn't matter, as I've said before, you're going to rip it all apart. As far as I know, all the bodies are the same. Um, so let's get into it. First thing, as always, pull out this bottom pin. Keep him safe. Then take out this little rubber seal. You see that straight bit of wire there? Don't prick yourself with it. Yeah. But keep this seal intact. So carefully. Tease him out. Put him safe. We'll need him. Now. What I do next. Is give that a really good pull. You're not going to get the coil all the way out. See how dirty and horrible that is. Yeesh. The reason you're not going to get him all the way out is that this top section there's a little ring in there that traps the other end of the vertical coil. So we're going to take it apart in order to, to free the beast. But don't be shy. Give him a good pull. Snap him off, yeah? Get that out of the way. I mean, look at it. You wouldn't want to vape on that, would you? That one look pretty good when I look down the top as well. Right. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take... One of my cheap little screwdrivers, I'm going to push it inside, I'm going to carefully catch that edge. You see this, the ring on the, on the top there, I'm going to use that as a drift to knock it out. Now I don't think it will translate very well to camera, but you get the picture. So we're pushing the screwdriver up, we're catching that edge, and then we're taking something not too heavy, like your pliers, like whatever you like, and we're smacking the bottom, and then we're working our way round the top. So we're going at, say, 12 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and work our way round. After a while, you'll pry as a little gap there. You'll, you'll have knocked it up enough that you've made a little gap there. And then you can get another tool in, like one of these little screwdrivers. And you can work him in there, work your way round, pop it off, jobs are good. Un. So I'm going to pause this, I'm going to do that, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so I've knocked it about a bit. You see a little dent in the top there, that's where my screwdriver's been. Unfortunately, uh, you're not going to rebuild this one forever, because sooner or later you're going to make it unserviceable. But you can see that's popped up a little bit, it's given me a bit of a, something to go at. Then we'll get a little lever in there, in the form of another one of these little screwdrivers, and we'll just work our way around and prise that up a bit more. And eventually, it's going to pop off. Again, it, it, it is a bit of a faff. It is a bit awkward. 
But once you're in, you're in, you know, and once you've done it once, it'll come apart a lot, lot easier than the very first time, like I'm trying to do on this one. So, once again, I'll pause this, and we'll come back when I've done it. Okie dokie, so I've priced that off. Um, there you go, a little bit of cosmetic damage there, don't worry too much. I'm going to keep him, put him on the keep pile. Next up is this, see that little mesh cover that sits over the original wicking? We want to keep that, so get in there with the probe, carefully, don't tear it. Get him out. Sorry, I've shot off camera there. And this just leaves this top ring. See the little groove there? A little slot, that's what holds in the top of your vertical coil. So, the same principles as before. We'll get in there with a little screwdriver, yeah? There's a little lip that we can get behind and we can work it and we can loosen it off and then prise it from the side, like taking the top off a bottle when you've not got a bottle opener. I'll do that off camera, because it's a bit of a faff to record. Okay, okay, so that's him. And he pops. Keep pile. Now inside, oh, straight there, stuck to my hand. Inside you got the old wicking. Now this surprised me when I first took it out because, well, watch, look. It's a ribbon. It's like loo roll, and there's loads of it. It's like I don't know. It's just a, a long, thin strip. Oh, look at the cack on that. That's not too bad actually. What's it smell of? Mmm, smells of nice. Anyway, so now we're left with the naked body, the little keeper ring that I'll to coil in, the all important mesh cover for the wicking, the original top cap, the original plug, and the original rubber seal stroke insulator. Take them and give them a wash, yeah? If you put your plug in, if you don't in the sink, you're going to lose bits if you go down the plug hole. My top tip is put the plug in, wash your hands with these in them. So I gave them a real good scrub up. When they're all good and clean, dry them off and it's ready to put back together, which we'll do right now. Okie dokie. So what I've done, I've cut myself off about nine inches, nine or ten inches. I'm using 0.5 canthor, 24 gauge canthor. I'm taking a four mil bit. The shank on this is four millimeters, which is pretty close to the original size. I'm gonna lay a couple of inches down the length. We need that. And then I'm going to do six wraps. But I'm not trying to make a micro coil. I want a little gap here and there. Just like this. Two three, four, five, we'll call it a day at five, yeah, cool beans, so there's your coil, take that out, look, super, if we compare it to the old body, then it's about halfway up, which is bang on, I forgot to mention the flow control. These feature a flow control ring, which gives us a good gauge. We don't want it certainly not any bigger than the flow control ring, preferably sitting below this top, like the standard coil does. So, that is a good one. So, we can take that now, <coughs> excuse me, we can start to fit it back into the body that we've washed and cleaned. And did all the rest too. First things first, we get a cotton wick in. We we'll take a pad. We're not going to make a great long strip like this had when we uh, took it apart. What we're going to do is offer that up to the coil. And we can see how wide it wants to be, and then we'll cut ourselves a strip of it. We're not splitting the pad. We're not doing anything. Just like that. Boosh. Strip of cotton. Okay. We're going to take our tool and we're going to put the coil on it upside down if you like. This is going to be the bottom. 
and we're going to wrap that around making sure that it's nice and neat and not poking up too far not poking down too far yeah so I'm going to go once round leave a little bit overlapping trim that off boosh so now we've got as I've said before a little mummified coil don't be afraid to pull this quite firm because it's a full pad we're not going to damage it now remember that little this jobby yeah we're going to fit him this is now the top so we're going to fit him onto the top of the assembler if you like now swap hands I'm going to take a, a main body this jobby yeah we're going to put that juice flow control ring on now I forgot to mention and we're going to push the old lot straight in we're going to use a little tucker inner just to snug that up as it goes in and try not to drop your tool like I just did yeah stand it on the table good idea so tuck him in nice and firm like that push him down and that will do for that bit Right, hold your fingers on it, flip it over, we'll finish the bottom off. So, push your tool down and out of the way, yeah. Leave it in place though, so I'm trapping it, look. I've got a little coil sandwich going on. I'm going to put my insulator back in. Like that. Now, remember that bottom pin? It's got a little flat bit on it. See, it's round, 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 it's got a flat side. The flat side goes against this wire. So, spinning round so the flat side's against that wire. Like that. Pushing flat. That's the bottom bit done. All we need to do now is take a pair of nail clippers, clip him off. So, it's nice and out of the way, sorted, let's go back to the top then, to the business end. So, we can centre that coil up now, got a little cover on there, centre him up, don't be shy, you won't hurt him, tuck him in, yeah, make sure that your wicking's nice and down, and not sticking across the top. Make sure that your coil sit in as near to central as you can get it. And make sure that that little mesh jobby is looking sweet. Now we can fit the little retaining ring that we took off a minute ago. And I'm struggling to pick up off the table. There you go. Wee. And all we do is drop him on. Line up that little slot with that leg that comes out bum, bum, bum. and then push him down there we go this is awkward so use the table push him down while he's lined up yeah fumble it about a bit because you're on camera so line your coil up with that slot Push this top cap, sorry, top ring, down onto that wire, as hard as you can, so it makes a start, get your pliers, either side of that drill bit, yeah, and give him a real good push down, so don't be shy, give him some beans. 
Okay, so we're back. That was far more awkward than I remember it being. Anyway, we've pushed this top cap on, yeah? The wire's popped out to the side. We'll trim him off nice and flush with my less than fantastic nail clippers. I really must get a new set. And then I'm going to... The camera picks it up. There's a little bit still up there, so... I'm going to get in there. I'm going to make sure with my pliers that that's good and flush. I'm going to rejiggle and realign the coil just to get it nice and central or as central as I can. Excuse me. Yeah, have a look down. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Just like that. And last but my no means least is get this devil back on. So we'll have him upside down for this one. We'll get him loosely in place. We'll have him upside down and then I'm going to push down quite firmly. Yeah. Just to get him started. And then I'm spinning him over and we'll tap him. I'll give him a and a knock with the persuader. Spin him back back over and square him up. And then I'm gonna tap it like this to get it just where I want it, which again don't make for good camera, so I'll pause it. And come back when I've done it. Okay, kiddies, there we go. So that's the whole thing back together. Really, really fiddly. Far from the easiest build that I do. Far from the easiest one to film, for sure. But you get the gist, yeah? Not too bad. There's your finished article. A little bit battered, a little bit bruised, but we've got brand new coilage, brand new wickage. And what I'll do, we'll go back up top. I'll fit him in. And uh, we'll go from there. See you in a minute. Okie dokie, right. Now I remember why it's the first one that I ever rebuilt and the last one that I've made a video of because hopefully my editing skills will reign supreme and you won't realise that it's actually a bit of a pain in the arse. Still a fun thing, still only takes 10 minutes, you know. What are you going to do? Watch Emmerdale or something. Anyway, so we fixed it to the base. We'll prime him up with our Mohawk Vapors The Sweetness. Team No Steve approved. Good shit. We'll put a few drops down the top. And we'll get them juice channels. Three of the blightest, yeah. A couple bit more drops, because I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. And I can't see what I'm doing. Fit them on the main body. And fire them up. Now I'm getting 0 0.6, 0 0.61 on the smock. It's only called 0 0.5, not too shabby. We're not going to quibble about that now, are we? I'm going to turn him to 35, 36. Yeah, hold on, bear with. 35 watts. I'm just giving us 4.9 volts. And we'll see what happens. Give me a little, we'll just sip him at first. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. There's a few little points that you need to watch out for. Um, I'll show you on this one that I've just taken out this standard one. If you look down the hole, you know, I'll pull the plug out of the bottom actually, show you better. You should uh, see me through there. When you put your new coil in and your new wicking in, make sure that you leave that nice and clear, otherwise you're going to compromise your airflow. Yeah, And that's going to make it tighter on the drawer. Not a major problem, but you'll notice it. Also, see how tight this top cap fits to the, the flow control ring. You're going to struggle to batter it back on there that tight. So don't go mashing it up to pieces. When you are knocking it about and trying things, use the shoulder of it on the edge of a firm surface like your table or your workshop or worktop or whatever. Don't put that down on the bottom and smack the top because what you'll do 
you'll split that seal and insulator there and then the damn thing will short out and give you all sorts of problems and it will leak juice and do all sorts of stuff so it's a tricky one please 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 take care and do it safely and also remember smoking kills and vaping saves lives which do you choose yeah I'll see you all again soon thanks for watching